Dalo on Fire right here on High TV, your luxury channel. We are checking out a brand new location, Java Lounge in Nugegoda, right next to Vikramarachi Opticians. And we are speaking to the man behind the brand name, Mira Vikramarachi, on the show today. It's Dano on fire and this time around the location is a bit different. We're enjoying coffee here at Vikramarachi. How does it actually happen? Because there's a restaurant right here. And as my guest on the show, I have Mihira Vikramarachi. I'm sure a lot of people will know him for the great work that he has done. And also for the amount of uh, help he has given in helping so many youngsters who have hearing problems or even vision problems. So let's welcome you to the show. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me for this program. You have toned down today, why? <laughs> Normally, he's the most energetic man I know. <laughs> you will see him at Park Street. You will see him in every possible play, uh, place and in different ways. All right. So tell me, how are you keeping? How is I'm how good, is life uh, during COVID? Oh yeah, I don't think about COVID, and we have to go forward. So I'm pretty okay, and uh, I think people should not think of this and. Uh, we have to move the life, you know. Yeah, too. We have to get used to the life. And not stress about it too yeah. much. Yeah, we are working okay. And uh, I'm supporting all the health care industry to get uh, protected. So we have been helping in this way and that way. And still we are going. True. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, there's so much that I want to speak to him about. Uh, a lot of things that we will not get to know behind a big brand like this. But at the same time, I wanted to make sure that I wore a Tom Ford because that's his favorite brand to wear and I've always worn his frame so I just wanted to match him on the first segment. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go back in time. You got into this trade how? What made you get into um, like this whole being in this optician world? Yeah, that's the secret of behind my brother is uh, an naval architect who studied in Germany. Okay. So it happened to me to get into Germany so I got the opportunity of learning this in Germany okay and the Henrik Walk who invented contact lens I personally met him he said he wanted to support me and then I learned here in Germany okay. and then I went to London and learned more and uh, so on yeah okay but when you're growing up I don't think a lot of people actually take it up of course people become eye doctors and whatever whatever but Getting into you know this world of you know opticians where you go for a solution when it comes to your eye problem. Sometimes we believe in just going to an optician is is good enough. Sometimes we don't need to go all the way to an eye specialist. Um, how and when it comes to you know giving the right kind of advice to somebody, it's a huge critical part of it. How did you sort of learn everything? Well, yes, uh, I think Germany is uh, pretty good uh, in this uh, trade. And also I, I did hearing aids and that's another thing. And I, I thought of helping people and making money is the best way. Mm. It's just not earning. Yeah, and it's, you can enjoy by doing something interesting. And also it's, uh, it's fun because it's fashion. Mm. You know? mm. it's, it's a trendy thing. So I like the designing and you know, things like this. So, uh, so I'm the one who brought all the brands to this country initially. Yeah. So I'm happy man. So <laughs> I bring everything and others follow. So. I love it. So now, you know, something about uh, everyone thinks when we were in school, wearing a kannadi was like a problem. Like I still remember when I first, when I first realized that I can't actually see was when I was in grade seven. I was like, hmm, this <laughs> could be the reason why my studies are not doing so good. I was like, I can't see. Uh, and when I first wore my specs, I was like, oh, 
you can see all the way because you never <laughs> realize right until you yeah. actually get your vision on um and everyone call me names ah botal adi and kanna adi and you know the usual names but now it has become such a sexy thing to have on of your course, face because without a glass i think without a uh, uh, i wear you know you are not completed you yeah, know yeah like everyone and is wearing even if course. you're not visually affected you're wearing it now well uh, we get uh, affected with every light you know and uh, uv light is bad for eyes so for skin uh, wearing a glass is important because you are with the mobile phones you are with the laptops and everything so i think everyone should wear it even a plain uh, protective blue ray glasses yeah oh wow so it's like it's now a necessity more than of a course, fashion yeah. statement it's a part of the you know lifestyle, lifestyle today yes, yes yes so now when it comes to wearing these frames now it has become this statement and you have traveled the world and seen all these big stars wearing it and you have brought down some major brands like madonna and the whole works how do you sort of find affiliation that in sri lanka are people risky risky enough to like pick out those frames or they are not like mm. oh no i have changed the uh, style I, i always change the style yeah. and others follows it i'm ha- happy that i would give it to the top people like like you i have given you <laughs> very interesting glasses and the people who are <laughs> celebrities and i i even the politicians i change them yeah, and true. i enjoy it oh look at him now he's good you know yeah. so you can make it good you have dressed you know. how many presidents of our country <laughs> <laughs> he has given the look and frames for and also the earring uh, yeah. to our presidents <laughs> yes of course yes. <laughs> yes, we didn't know about this yes. part we and some prime minister i would say <laughs> <laughs> most of them <laughs> <laughs> they are also deaf no yes. wonder they can never hear what i'm trying to tell them <laughs> I, i have gone to jaya javadans uh, bedroom and i fixed a hearing aid oh yes. wow but so i'm it's a fun you know it's fun and also it's nice and it's make people happy mm. and uh, and without uh, eyewear i think you are not completed your design and also you should not be uh, scared you must wear flashy colorful i know glasses you know and you change lot a lot yes. and uh, you are a good supporter in this i i always tell him give me the craziest ones i'm forever searching for the craziest ones and sometimes it's like you can't change the lens here don't no, know <laughs> and i'm like oh, okay that's the only reason i have to save it all right i must tell you the food here uh, we are having it at uh, java which is a branch that has been opened in one of his flagship stores here uh food looks amazing very sri lankan the palate that i really like with cheese whole sambal and omelet you can never go wrong uh, with it looks like khadi pang which i love the most let's get into a break we'll see you on the other side with the mains and also more about the importance of uh, creating awareness about hearing aids we are going to speak about the project that he has done and what he is continuing to do and how you can contribute when we do come back the show it's done one fine conversation with Mikina Wickramarachi and we are having food from Java the all new location which is in new gay order all right so something that i really wanted to speak about is the importance of hearing aid and something that we always take for granted you know we are blessed and we are so grateful that we can actually hear but a lot of people do not have this opportunity and uh, there's a growing number in sri lanka it could be because of the war it could be because of the fact that there was a stupid bomb attack that we had to face just last year all these issues have created so many people who are able but unfortunately today with some kind of a disability now let's speak about how bad is this hearing situation in our country what is the percentage like yeah as you said the war has uh, created a lot of uh, deafness for everyone and who got involved in that area mm. because when one bomb goes some kilometers you get affected yeah and uh, that is partially at least the closest people totally get lost and then when they lose their hearing and you can today we have the technology and uh, that is called cochlear implant we have given it to many many people in these areas and i met a baby war baby 
with a blind baby with deaf voice. So we gave a cochlear implant, otherwise they would at not hear and see anything. At least anything. something is working. Something, yeah. uh, tell me about the how many kids are born into Sri Lanka with some kind of a disability that could be amended and treated for them to live a normal life? Yeah, actually we have done uh, now the cochlear implant for uh, nearly about 800 people, mm. children, even in the government hospitals. We have about 2.5 million, 2.5% uh, 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 hearing loss, uh, totally loss, uh, children and adults, and we have 15% uh, hearing impaired. Now, the, the painful thing is the fact that when you're a baby, you tend to not you can't express it and your parents don't want to believe it. They are going through that denial phase for the longest time because for them it's just heartbreaking to know that yeah. their kid could have a problem. So when until parents come to understanding the fact that there is a problem, the child is not going to get help. What's the youngest that you have treated? Uh, we have actually, we used to check each and every child now mm. as a by law in WHO. We had to screen every baby. Right. So I had tell everyone to not wait because you never know. Sometimes we have found uh, uh, families of father and mother uh, doctors, uh, they were not aware. And uh, so therefore we want everyone to test, not to check only the risk babies. And if there is a hearing problem, even one year is having a hearing problem, the child may not study well or might uh, have other difficulties of uh, exposing to society. Mm. So we can solve this problem and everything is available in Sri Lanka. And we got the Asian Best Award. Sri Lankan doctors have got even the best awards of the internationally. So um, last year, I walked into one of his showrooms and he was there and he asked me to stay back for a few minutes for him to introduce me to someone who unfortunately got caught to the Kochikada bomb, uh, which was at St. Anthony's. And this boy got piled up with two dead bodies on top of his uh, top of him. And his hearing was affected by it. And you treated him completely free of charge and I was so grateful that people like you come forward to do such thing because that boy is in his late teens and just starting his life. And the last thing you want is one, to go through a situation that is so dreadful to remember. And number two, to have a constant reminder of the fact that you have been changed for good. Uh, when, when people come to you, now I have, we have even promoted on other shows where he has sponsored us saying that, you know, you can even contribute towards these cases with children who cannot afford uh, such implants. How can one person come forward and fund a child and how expensive is it? Yeah, that's very nice thing. Even the people who have got cochlear implant mm. and people who likes to actually get uh, sponsor them to look after their other uh, education and also to support program for this. And I'm uh, welcome to anyone, please. Uh, we have 800 children and we can't, uh, I have done it myself. Mm. For the first implant or second one, I gave it free. And, but now the government is giving the implant, but we may have to maintain these things. So if s somebody likes to do s supporting these children, one of them recently got selected to the medical faculty mm. and uh, uh, science faculty and they are in universities. They mm. can talk and they, he's from Royal College. Mm. So it's a uh, it's very good thing that uh, uh, luckily that uh, now these children are being integrated in normal schools and you don't need to have deaf schools in this country anymore. Yeah. Every child can hear and everybody can get the hearing back. But if they are too late, then it's a problem. So not to wait. And this is the implant that we use it and just a little thing. Yeah. That you and this it. goes all the way in here. Yes. And then we have several doctors in Jaffna and uh, Betiklo, Colombo, everywhere, Kandy. Anradhapur and everywhere we are doing it and I train all these people. I'm a very happy man because I've done a big thing for the country. Definitely. So I'm not, uh, I, so for the country I've done something so I'm very happy. Now this is something that I really wanted to highlight because sometimes we tend to take things for granted and we are like okay, we have it and why should we even bother so much but it's a huge thing and if we can create a healthier and a more steady second generation that's the best thing that you can leave back on earth, I think, when you 
uh, leave your life. But uh, it's fascinating. If you want to contribute to any of the branches, you can find more details. You can even come uh, come forward and support a child uh, who may co not come from the most uh, financially stable family so that they will be able to hear and not only have the problems of growing up without this and uh, even their language will be a, a issue. So let's create a healthier tomorrow. We're going to get into a break. When we do come back, we're going to speak more. So do stick around. It's done on fire. Speaking to Mr. Vikramarachi at uh, this new little cozy place, uh, Java Lounge in Nugegoda, I call him Mr. Wicks. That's how a lot of people call you, right? Yes. Mr. Wicks. It's, it's much more cooler. Easier. And you, when you were living abroad, you Everyone were, call me as Vicks. Vicks, no? Yeah. Uh, so just easy. imagine them to say Vikramarachi. <laughs> <laughs> they would be like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they, they would have got their jaws fixed after that. <laughs> so, so how now, are you doing? And, uh, <laughs> How am I doing? <laughs> I am, you're the only one who has asked me, man, on this show. So you you didn't tell me about your birthday, and you you never invited me. I didn't have anything. Okay. Just oh. okay. simple. I'm a girl. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> I love gifts. So. Oh, I'm actually getting it wrapped. Oh. This should oh, be a wow. surprise. I have never got this pouch before in my life. Actually, this is uh, not the original one. This is Dolce and Gabbana, the best selection. It's the premium Dolce and Gabbana for you, for your birthday. See how lovely it is. This will be your <gasps> piece of glasses you can wear it away. Oh my God, and it's already fixed. The lens is put. I can see. You put my power in all? Yes. Mm. How do I look? Let me see the office. Mm. I can take it, but I will put this back, no? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, I think we are down done with the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Okay, I'll look at myself later. But thank you. Thank you so much. It's very nice one. Thank you, thank you. Um, so let's speak a little bit about... I'm so excited now. I love gifts. Um, let's speak a little bit about... Your fashion sense. Now, this man has brought some brilliant brands to our country, but it's very hard for big people to understand about these, right? Sometimes, yeah. Okay, so tell me about, tell me what's your favorite brand to sell out of all what you have. You have Celine Dion, you have Roberta Cavalli, the whole works. Yeah, Roberta Cavalli have been the one, but Sri Lankans couldn't catch the market on this. Uh, I'm changing it to time to time because the brands are changing with the climate, with the with the warm climate or summer or whatever it is, and with the design. So, uh, well, uh, all the brands, almost every brand, I, I introduced it. Uh, so others follow it. It's very good. I'm very happy that I managed to bring the, all the brands here. So I used to meet all these uh, celebrities like... You have the, been for the, the French film, uh, French uh, fashion shows. Yeah, you have been at the... Uh, Italian, Milan. And, and I, also I at the fashion meet, weeks, at the Milan yes, fashion weeks. Yes. And I used wow. to meet uh, all these Vogue and all these uh, mm. models. Mm. One time I've been in clutches and it was in news. <laughs> 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 so that's a nice way to go in. Huh? So now when you, when, uh, when you go and represent Sri Lanka internationally in all these forums, uh, how do you sort of make like specs fashionable and sexy? How do you do that? Yeah, I've, uh, to be frank, the, the Spectacles has characters so nice and uh, with the with theme and there's a meaning. It's, they won't do it with, uh, uh, without a reason, you know. The, there's now Robert Cavalli, they make it for, for uh, design has all characters of animals. So uh, they okay. give some money for the animals' uh, protection. Right, okay. So this is why I brought the shoes, I brought everything. Uh, but very hard for some uh, levels to go. Mm. But the spectacles, luckily, everyone is selling very well, well. now. Yes. And well. I used to give Bollywood stars to all these fashions before they wore everything. I uh. think uh, I'm first to give all the brands to them, you know. Okay. Now, you have dressed so many presidents um, and you have met all of them in person. When they come to you, how do you sort of choose the look for them? Because our last president, uh, was with specs permanently yes and you chose that pair as well for him that look 
<laughs> how, how do you choose all of these? Well, uh, sometimes it's very hard to change. Uh. I, I try to change. I slowly, without knowledge, I've changed it. Uh. One person went to the village and they, he didn't know the color of the glass changed oh, right, and right. then everyone started laughing at him <laughs> but he didn't know <laughs> I, I make my fun also out of uh, it you know and then like uh, people like uh, very who important is the first president to you well uh, I've been the, with the Jaya Javadana no? okay and even that time I gave hearing aids plus uh, spectacles and oh, most of the others followed yes and uh, so some of them they have these glasses even still I see that they are using it mm. yeah so they they love uh, they have a different different theme also they can't sometimes change their uh, design because of their Person popularity the yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah but I must say I think I have a mini showroom at home <laughs> and Arthur C Clark is is, is oh, a wow, really? and he had won one of the hearing it and want to uh, go to the American uh, show with the uh, NASA oh. and he said I'm wearing hearing aid. I mean, that's big. That <laughs> that's is big, definitely. Yeah. If you do go into his archives... And Ritesh is using my contact lens, Ritesh Deshmuth. Oh, really? Yeah. All the Bollywood stars, one day, they were here and I gave all the classes to them. So they were all known to me. Some of them I have taken in my cars and no one knew. <laughs> Fine. Hello, I'm also like a Hollywood star. <laughs> keeping Sri Lanka in mind. Anyway, but it's always great. If you do go to his archives, you see all these fancy and, people and, and their photographs. It is uh, getting a glass, uh, what uh, Danut, the thing is, people don't know how to select it. They must select proper design because otherwise you you make your face even more ugly. <laughs> so, <laughs> when, the, when, the, when the faces are long, you can make it shorter, you know, that, that way you can you can. Okay, it's all about nice. picking the right picking frame. Picking the right frame. Yeah. Well, thank you so very much. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you. There's some great work that this man does. You can always follow him, support him, support the brand. Because I am always for a healthy tomorrow. So if we can contribute towards the generation tomorrow, let's go for it and be a part of the change in some way. Thank you so very much for joining us on the show. And thank you to Jao for all these yummy treats that we have. Until we see you with another cool episode to Done on Fire, you keep smiling. It's a wrap. Thank you.